Uh, oh, God sure enough have a way of uh, changing up the flow of things, you know. That tape just went out. That mean I was saying too much and there was some things that I probably shouldn't have said already. So we're going to come off of all of that, okay. We're going to get off of that. Uh, once again, this is my channel. I'm supposed to talk about me. I'm not supposed to talk about anybody else. So on that one, I'm really sorry. I just got into the moment. You know what I'm saying? It's the TV kind of kicking over a little bit. And mixed with this coffee. And, you know, I got so much shit on my mind. So much things that I want to say. And sometimes you tend to be, you know, just a little bit too wordy and say some things that you should not. So, you know, it's all is well. All is well. It's all good. Um, I will reach out and um, I will, you know, we're going to have to have a talk. I know how to get in contact with your closest, 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 because I don't have your number now. But your closest, closest, you know, we still very cool. And I will, you know, let them know that, you know, I, you know, I was just a little, I just was a little bit offended, you know. And it wasn't just me, but it was a lot of the young ladies that was in that particular area. You know, and, uh, you know, and it probably wasn't even about me. It was probably about somebody else over there. But, you know, um, it just wasn't cool. And we will, you know, we will knee to knee and T to T. We'll handle that. We won't handle that here. But um, anyway, but um, so on that note, I'm sorry. And let's move forward. Okay, so my kids are good. My health is good. Um, with this thyroid, I'm going to have to see what's up with that. And, um, you know, we're just going to go from there. For the most part, my yoni is in perfect condition. Oh, my God. This bitch is just, ah. Oh, my God. Lord, D. Oh, my God. This, I just love this bitch here. I don't know. Um, I am going to talk about waterworks. So, maybe after this, I can bring my waterworks in and we can talk about it right quick. Um, yes, we're gonna talk about waterworks. And um, so for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good, I'm healthy. I broke my toenail. I broke my dog on, mm -hmm, I broke my toenail. Hold on. On my big toe, and, and but I still got polish on it anyway. But right here is like broke like down up in here. And you know, what had happened was, years, years, years ago, I had dropped a frozen chicken on my foot. This was about four or five years ago. I was on this platform. That's when I was really doing a lot, a lot of cooking videos and stuff. Which, I'm going to get back to the cooking videos. I know you guys be like, Auntie, you ain't cooking no more. Auntie's doing all that. But I'm backed up on all kinds of shit. You know, I'm backed up. You know what I'm saying? I got to play catch up. You know, I don't, you know, I just... You know, other things needed my attention. You know what I mean? And so, when I'm all in, I'm all in. And so, I had had, I've had some other things that I've needed to tend to. And so, then, therefore, I was able to, I've just been able to give, you know, what I've been given. Though, I could have been giving more. I admit that. But when... The energy is just not there. I don't want to come off as, you know, just on this motherfucker, just saying some shit just to make AdSense coins. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, no. Um, I, I prefer for me to come on here to be speaking of something, about something. You know, getting a message to somebody. You know what I mean? To help you get up and get over and, and hold on. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get better with time, baby. One thing about time, oh my God, time is beautiful, ain't it? Oh, my God, you find out so much shit in time. Just hold on. If you could just hold on. Just hold on, mama. Just hold on. All this you going through on the back end. But the thing is, while you're going through it, you can't be no fucked up individual. Because you could be a real pretty person. You could be all this aesthetically, just all this bam, 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 boom. Everything on 10. But if your soul is fucked up, your spirit ain't right. You know, all kind of bullshit swirling around you all the time. You know, at the job, motherfuckers is, you know, when a new motherfucker come in, oh, don't talk to so-and-so, that bitch is this, this, this. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, all of that. When your soul ain't right, you can be the cutest of everything, but, you know, it's just not, it's just, it's not organic, okay? And, um, 
You want to be able to live comfortably and live without worry, you know, and live whole in your life at some point in time. You don't want to be out in this motherfucker hooking and crooking and crying and fighting and all this shit for the rest of your motherfucking life. What, what else do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be in a struggle and going through the shit all the rest of your life? So you're saying that this is what I want to do the rest of my life is this shit right here. Whatever that shit is. You have to say, you know what, look, check this out. I've been doing this shit for a long motherfucking time, and I learned all that I can learn from the group that I'm rolling with. Because you can only go so far with the company that you keep. That's why a simulation association still works hand in hand, because as time progresses and time goes, you know, you're learning new things, and you're having all these different life experiences. And if you don't bring people in and out of your life, how are you going to grow? How you gonna grow if you got the same motherfuckers the rest of your motherfuckers? Y'all motherfuckers doing the same shit, getting fucked up the same way, doing the same shit. Girl, they giving out refrigerators down there at Salvation Army, girl. You gotta get on the list. It's gonna take two weeks, but they're gonna have it delivered, set up, and everything. They're gonna take your old one away. Bitch, calm down. Okay? At what point in time do you be like, you know what, check this out. I'm taking my old ass to school or something. Fuck it. I'm gonna give me a CNA. Uh, surgical tech, ultrasound technician, whatever, welding, something, okay, something, just to say, you know what, look, check this out, I'm not where I used to be, and I'm not over there doing what they're doing, but I'm able to be self-sufficient and independent for myself, because I'm going to tell you, and even as a wife, you know, yeah, it's real cool to say, you know, I'm a housewife. I stay at home. I stay at home and I take care of my kids. Listen, that's cool, but you're not building no Social Security on that. And if you married a man that don't have, then therefore, what are you going to have when y'all motherfuckers really decide that, you know what, look, check this out. Um, I'm going to go on over here with Deborah because Deborah got a better benefit package, Okay. I'm going to go on over there with her. Because motherfuckers are really getting divorced in their 40s and 50s and shit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is, is like, you know what? I done put up with this motherfucker for 30 years. I can't do this shit no more. Fuck that nigga. Go ahead. Shit. Go ahead. Go on over there and do that. But then there's so many wives that say, shit, go on over there till you get tired. They, they, they ain't got no problem with it. As long as you bring home that motherfucking check. Okay. Go on over there and go do that shit. That bitch ain't getting nothing. What is she getting, bitch? You ain't getting nothing. That's my motherfucking husband. But if you need him for a couple of hours, go on and get that motherfucker. Because I don't feel like fucking that nigga no way. You know, ginger by his ass, nigga. Uh, while you at it, buy him something to wear because we got some shit to do next week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, after a while, it becomes like that. And a lot of people live like that. Real life, true story shit. It's a lot of motherfuckers watching this shit right now can relate like a motherfucker be like, Shh, bitch, look, as long that motherfucker, he better not have that check late. That's all the fuck I know. You, you go out there and you go do all that shit if you want to, motherfucker. Hey, all I know is this goddamn cartoon network and shit better come on. This motherfucking uh, mortgage motherfuckers better be satisfied. You know what I mean? And we're going to keep it pushing. But, hey, yeah, you go on and do that shit till you get tired. And I, I, you ain't getting none of this? No way. Don't even ask for none. You know, I lived it. Okay? So I know it's a lot of us exist. We just kind of silence because we're thinking that, you know, if I say something, they're going to think I'm docile. If I say something, they're going to think I'm a chump. If I say something, then they're going to be like, girl, you stupid. If I say something, they're going to be like, you know, uh, you know, this bitch is crazy as hell. No, you ain't none of that motherfucking shit. It's just the fact that you've been taken care of by this motherfucker for so long and depending on his check. The whereas, that's what it be. But then, if you married somebody, that's why I'm telling y'all young ones now. Y'all young ones that watch Auntie, if you're going to get married, please marry somebody that got some shit going on, baby. Real shit. Don't be out here just marrying motherfuckers about to do ass niggas. I done talked about that shit before. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about, I'm about to move. I'm about to get me a car. I'm about to do this. They, they, they about to start hiring over there uh, uh, Amazon. Niggas, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. You know, so, anyway, but yeah, for those of you guys that's, you know, wanting to, you know, kind of get into some marriage and shit, just don't give these niggas no pussy right away. You know, I, I you know, I, I done done that shit a couple times, and you know what, that ain't, 
motherfuckers done told me out of my pussy bitch time and time. I, I, I've been one of them before. You know what I'm saying? But the cold thing is, nigga, you gotta be on that Sierra shit tell motherfucker, look, nigga, you ain't getting none of this. And but but you know what? I got men in my life that's like that. Me and Mr. Malibu, that's my motherfucking nigga. Hey, nigga, I love you. Real shit, I love you. And what's so crazy is, I already know your situation. I already know what you got going on and all that old type of shit. And you know what's happening with this. But hell, we get together, we party, parlay, kick it, golf on up, and all that motherfucking shit. You take care of me like a motherfucker, baby. I love you. Huh? Yeah, y'all ain't even understand it. And this my motherfucking nigga, if he don't get no bigger look. Hey, boy, I love you, baby. I can't wait to see you in two weeks. That's my boy. I mean, mm, you ain't even understanding. And it's so cold. What's so cold about it is, it's so much respect and so much love between us. Nigga, we ain't even share the same breath like that. Why are you playing, huh? So, yeah, and it's been years. Years. This motherfucker still hit me off with the best of shit money can buy. Baby, hey God, when you tell me that you love me, when you send me little messages and little little motherfucking texts and shit and songs and shit all throughout the week, this motherfucker texts me a couple times out the week like it ain't no thing. Just to say, baby, how you doing? I love you, T. Mm. This motherfucker ain't seen no parts of the pussy. Not, not, not now, fold. Y'all got the game twisted, baby. But then I have to ask some motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying, say some slides, some slick shit, and fuck around. Nigga, oh, uh, wait a minute, is that a popcorn ceiling? Yeah, one of them. So I done been in and done, done that. But however, at this point in time, no, Tina's grown, nigga. I'm what, three times motherfucker grown. Huh? So which means now, I done paid the cost to be the boss. My daughter will be 17 years old, come whatever, this right here. I done told my motherfucking daughter, look, check this out, nigga. I'm telling you, they finna put something in your arm, your ass, whatever. Because you ain't finna bring no babies up right up, up in here. I don't know if they doing it, nor plan or what's, whatever the get down is nowadays. IUD, whatever, what she qualified to get. Because, see, you not finna come up in this motherfucker, come talk my mama, we need to talk about something. Because I'm gonna be mad as soon as I look in your motherfucking face and some shit ain't looking right. Uh, she like all these little niggas. These Chris Brown look like motherfuckers. Hey, you can do that shit if you want to. I don't know. I told you already. That shit's a trap. It's a setup. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, hey, all on the phone, on three, hang up, and all that old type of shit. Calm down. I see you. But all I'm saying is, come school year, come and shit. And I'm 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 gonna look into it with Dr. So and so, I don't want to say his name, but I'm gonna let him know. Look, check this out. I gotta make a point for my daughter because I, I need y'all to figure out what she can get at 17 because she's gonna need something. Fuck all that because we ain't doing that. I ain't ready, goddammit. it. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's kind of sad to say, but when it comes down to what Isaiah, because Anthony, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? He on some pride shit. You know, that's my baby and I love him, so I already know. But when he do, when he do, because my son does want. You know, to have a child sometime in his life, it's 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 gonna be a beautiful thing because my son is so he's responsible, he's so loving. So you know, I already know when when it comes down to that point, if it's with him and his partner or whatever, I already know that that's gonna be a beautiful thing, and he's a hell of a provider and all that. That's gonna be cool. But my but third, I don't know. I told that motherfucker nigga, you can go out there in that motherfucking streets if you want to. Come back to him, come talk to my mama. Uh, look, <clears throat> I don't even want to hear that motherfucking shit. I, don't, I ain't even trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear, we got to, mama, we got to do a baby shower for Latisse. I ain't trying to, none of that. You better get up out of here with that bullshit. Uh, for real. I, nope. Uh, nope. Shit, yeah, nope. And that motherfucker, he, he want to, he, he, this motherfucker right here want to break curfew every now and again. Motherfucker want to blame it on Pokemon. Oh, mama, we was out there looking for Pokemon. Nigga, uh-uh, no, hey, hey, hey. Ain't none of that. Oh, it was one down the street. We had to go find it. Hey, none of that shit, okay? Because you're breaking curfew. I see that you want to be out in these motherfucking streets, out here going up and down all this bullshit. I see you. Huh, my son getting older. He and the girls like that. Like, you would not believe I see nigga. And because he's real handsome, you know what I'm saying? I dig them. Shit, my son is a handsome little old boy. I gotta give it to him. Boy, 
calm the fuck down. I see you. I see you. I see you. And I also see my daughter. And I'm them the two right there. Anthony, he, you know what I'm saying? Me and him is there. I ain't even got to worry about him. He all right. But them last two motherfuckers, yeah, I'm, I'm on their ass. I'm all, what, what, what you talking about? What you, what you got going on? Yeah. So, anyway, so that's that. Now, what's going on with Mama? Mm. Girls, I'm, look, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having fun. Shit. Mm. Can I, can I just have some fun? I'm just having some fun. I ain't trying to fuck with nobody. I ain't trying to talk nobody out of their motherfucking money and nothing else. No, none of that shit. I'm just having fun. I see who the fuck I want to see, and that's it. Is Kenny still around? Kenny is still around, but Kenny, y'all, see, <clears throat> hey man, I ain't gonna even get all into that either, but, uh, whoa, that motherfucker straight flipped the script, motherfucker went crazy one day, I mean, just straight 5150, yeah, that motherfucker went 5150 one day, and, uh, but the guy that I've been seeing, see, this motherfucker right here, this is some Compton and Long Beach together. Now you know we in trouble? Yeah. Don't fuck with. He ain't one of them. Okay? Baby is a, mm-hmm, you know, he's, yeah, one of them. And, uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. So I already knew that I couldn't come on here and talk about a motherfucking thing. Because I've been saying so much motherfucking shit that it didn't make no sense to be about. And I was like, no, nah, I can't even do it, because then therefore, I, no. Because once you say it, you can't bring it back, it's like, once post, that's it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that's why I had to apologize to the sister a while ago, because that just kind of fucked with my, excuse me, fucked with my spirit a little bit, and I had to get it up off me. But, uh, man. So... <clears throat> I'm doing me. Yup. Okay, I'm keeping it all respectful. All respectful around my home. All respectful, definitely around my daughter. You know, and all this old type of shit. And I'm just, hey, shit, you want to go out? Yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So I done went out a couple times. And I went to this one place called Boston's with this guy. Younger guy, though. I had met him one day. I had went to the bank. Short story, I went to the bank. I got out my car and I'm walking up to the ATM and she had on one of my little motherfucking five dollar dresses, you know what I'm saying? My little DD little little dresses and shit that I got. This one I think I got this from 